Diferente, ¿no? Un video de comida, ¿verdad? Es un pedacito, ¿verdad? De lo que pasó eh, en la conmemoración, ¿verdad? Recordatorio de la hija de Rose. Saben que la hija de Rose eh, partió con el señor hace dos años eh, en Thanksgiving, ¿verdad? Eh, hace dos años atrás. Y me invitaron hoy para que estuviera en la ceremonia y le tomé un pedacito ahí de lo que la gente estaba hablando. Así que espero, ¿verdad? Que disfrute. Yo sé que todos ustedes quieren mucho a Miss Rose, ¿verdad? Y quiero, ¿verdad?, compartir con ustedes estos momentos, ¿verdad?, de que estuve con ellas. Así que espero, ¿verdad?, eh, que las mantengan mucho en sus oraciones. Así que gracias, ¿verdad?, por compartir y por estar siempre conmigo en los videos, aunque no sean de comida. I just want to thank you all of you for being so kind to my daughter and loving her like I do. And I wish you would have stayed and enjoyed all of it. And that's about it. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry. Like all my sister. Um, yeah, I just want to thank echo everything that's already been said and thank you to Katie Christian Ministries and Aria Salon for, for being a partner and all the other sponsors for continuing this great event um, like like it was said that my mom uh, came up with when she was working here um, it's just an honor for us to be here the family to be here to share in this event um, and um, I, when she worked at, at Katie Christian Ministries I, she shared with me all the time what the work that she was doing meant to her. And, and so I admired her then for being able to open her heart for and, and serve in the way that she did. Um, but I really didn't truly understand how deeply and significant the work that she was doing meant to her until I came across this journal of hers after she passed. And so I just wanted to share a couple of lines from it that, um, that I came across that really talked about you know this, the work that she did here and how important it was to her. Um, there was actually back in 2008, in May of, of 2008, she, she started off by saying, um, I went on another interview Monday, I would really like to work at this company, I can see it fulfilling me at this time. And when I read that I thought, you know, she doesn't, like, she's leaving me hanging, I don't know what job she's talking about. Um, and I thought, fulfilling, whoever says that about a job? Um, and so on the next entry, Um, you know, it's the first week that she started there back in July of 2008. And she said, just started working at KCM. I truly feel this is the job I was meant to be at. The job and place I was looking for all this time but didn't know it. Um, and then she just keeps going on and talking about how, you know, the, the, the work that she's doing impacts her and how she really feels um, in her heart and in her soul. Um, that, you know, that this is what, what she was meant to do. And, and that just was so impactful to me and, and even more so recently because I feel that connection of knowing what it is that you're truly called to do and feeling it. Um, so this just really meant a lot to me and I thought about sharing it with you guys. Um, and I'm just happy to see this um, event continue on. So just enjoy the evening and thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, do we have uh, Sergeant Rucker, Deputy Molina? Deputy Molina. Oh, hi, Deputy Molina. Come on, come on. Let me get on that side. Now. <laughs> This is Deputy Molina. And um, the Crisis Center uh, is blessed to work really closely with um, uh, the Victims Assistance Unit with uh, Precinct 5 Constable's Office. Um, they are working all the time on a lot of cases. Um, I know that perhaps some of the crime victims compensation that you've been helped with, um, this is one of the ladies that those applications go to and she sends over to Austin. Okay, so we can speed the process in terms of crime victims compensation. Deputy Molina. Um, again, thank you for having me and um, thank you for um, the audience spa. Mm -hmm. Um, and to all the ladies and even some men, but 
Um, the hardest part is taking that step and coming forward and making that report or going to uh, KCM and you can start there as many of you have. Um, it's, it's very difficult because we get ladies that come back and they say, well, um, you know, I don't know if I should follow through with these charges. I don't, you know, but you see them go right back into the same situation. And anyway, taking that step is the, is the biggest step. And, you know, thank God, you know, everyone that is here uh, that has gone through that um, hopefully feels very safe and comfortable coming to KCM and, and to us. Um, we're mainly plain clothes, so we don't per se, sometimes they say, you know, our uniforms intimidate, but, <laughs> um, you know, um, we help everyone that comes in through that door, whatever they need, and we work real close with, with KCM. And thank you to all the volunteers, because without them, I don't know where we'd be either. <laughs> so, but um, God bless, and thank you all for being here and helping each other. Thank you, thank you for time thinking about how you can take good care of yourself and practice self-care. So our message really is simple. Um, you're beautiful, you're worthy, practice self-love, and practice self-care. Oh, nuestro mensaje de esta noche, y ya lo ha dicho nuestra directora ejecutiva aquí varias veces ahorita, pero el mensaje que queremos transmitirles a nuestras clientes hoy aquí es que ustedes son hermosas, son valiosas, vayan al mundo y practiquen el amor propio y el autocuidado. Ese es el mensaje de esta noche. Okay? Alright. Enjoy the night, y'all. 